So let's go to Shaman Freeman Powell, who's outside the court and was inside for the sentencing to, to bring us really the key takeaways, Shimon. Well, over the past three days, the details and the evidence that we've heard in this sentencing hearing has been harrowing and quite distressing, actually. So distressing that even the prosecutor himself yesterday broke down in tears, listening to some of the evidence from witness statements from girls as young as 10 years old, outlining how Edwards has gro had groomed, threatened and intimidated them into sending indecent sexual images of themselves using the social media platform Snapchat to do so. And during the course of this sentencing hearing over the past three, day, three days, many of the victims' family members were present in court, having to listen to this harrowing detail. However, Edwards himself was not present, as he has so far, well, has refused to attend court for this sentencing hearing. But the judge, though, today, she summarised what she believes Edward had done whilst committing these crimes. She spoke about how Edwards had a pattern of behaviour, making online contact with these girls over Snapchat, sometimes pretending to be someone that they knew before threatening and intimidating them into sending uh, indecent images of them often performing sexual acts. She also then went on to explain that once he had these videos of these young girls between the ages of 10 and 16 years old, he would then use that material to further blackmail them into to send in even more graphic videos and images. She said that even when they were crying and begging him to stop, even when they spoke of the fact that they were experiencing severe mental health issues and some had explained to Edwards that they had started self-harming, she explained that Edwards didn't care. He didn't seem to care that these young girls were distressed and didn't stop his crime. She also went on to explain that whilst the defendant was a serving police officer, but all but, for all but one of these counts, that he actually posed as a 14-year-old boy to commit these crimes. So he didn't use his power as a police officer to commit these offences. However, she did say it was significantly aggravated by the fact that he was a serving police officer. And she referenced the fact that many of the victims in their witness statements had said the fact that he was an officer had broken their trust with police. In fact, one 13-year-old girl in a witness statement said you were meant to protect us, not abuse us. And a parent of another victim said how her daughter no longer trusts police, security guards or men in general as a result of what he has done. Now, we had already known that uh, Edwards can no longer serve as a police officer as he's been put on a barred list. But the judge also explained today that he would never be able to work with children or young people. He has been sentenced to prison for life with a minimum term of 12 years. That means that after 12 years he will be able to go to probation but not necessarily released. It's only once probation deem it's safe for him to do so. Shaman, thanks so much for that. Shaman Freeman Power there outside Cardiff Crown Court.